hell if it isn't Saucy Jack. Just a little too late, as usual. I'm strong. Impressive little toy you've got there. But your plan ends here. <laughs> Idiot. You're not ending our plan. You're expanding it. Check the internet lately. <laughs> Ryder, Air Force One is turning back to the States. What? How'd they know? Someone posted photos of what's happening on the base. The whole world is up in arms. Show me. How did they... Story leaked early, then Marshall's plan is ruined. The hell it is. Look what they're saying. The story just went live, and already they're calling for blood. But the president was saved. And yet American blood was spilled. By Americans. Besides, a few dozen soldiers is tragic. But nothing to start a major war over. That's just the spark, son. The excuse we've been waiting for. America's wanted this war for years. The Patriots, they knew war was good for the economy. Four years later, their legacy lingers on. The memes. They left us their great isms. Nationalism. Unilateralism. Materialism. Welcome maxims for those with no faith without guiding principles of their own. Give yourself up to the whole. No need to better yourself. You're American. You're number one. Then the only value left is dollar value. The economy. So we'll do whatever it takes to keep it humming along. Even war. Especially war. Bullshit! The Patriots planted the seed. We don't need them around to filter and foster their memes any longer. We're spreading them just fine ourselves. Every American man, woman, and child. We're all sons of the Patriots now! Hmm. Cherry blossoms. Yeah. I take it you're not a fan? No. They make me sick. I knew Johnson's team was working on some fancy pants new reception area. But Jesus. When I get my hands on that candy ass, he'll be lucky if he can even carry his box of shit out of the building. <laughs> Is it really so horrible? They're only trees. They go from full blossom to bare in a week. One fucking week. Everywhere in DC you hear, oh, it's so fleeting and beautiful. Pathetic. What do you think? <sighs> nature is just nature. Not beautiful, not ugly. The wind blows, the flowers float away, it's simply how things are. <laughs> In any case, Minuano should be close. Minuano, the cool Brazilian wind. Mm. A.K.A. Jetstream Sam. Thanks for coming in. What's your game, Armstrong? Gonna talk me to death? <laughs> like I said, son, time for your final interview.
could use a man like you, Sam. Organize violence, waging war as business. We're gonna put an end to all that bullshit. Maybe... Maybe I misjudged you. Then how about it? Will you lend us a hand? A hand, eh? How about I take yours? unharvested inventory. Que? But have you any idea what they cost? Last night, actually, the children weren't exactly rare in the part of the world. Millions of them, in fact. You can get more once we set up a new lab. They lead lives of hunger and pain. We're performing a service here for them and the cities they burden. But just gathering the donors required a significant investment. Yes, yes. Yes, you'll get the money. Accounting will be in touch. Gracias. I assure you we will dispose of our inventory in the instant we can confirm payment. Are we done here? I've got a full slate today. Takumse is a demanding mistress. And America has suffered long enough. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Let me see you out. We just need something to jumpstart the economy out of this funk. This recession has been stuck in since the fall of SOP. <laughs> and the military costs? Wasting billions is going to help the economy? BMCs, arms manufacturers, job creators, Jack. All those workers spending money, paying taxes. Trust me, a little war can work wonders. So grease the gears with some innocent blood, is that it? Oh, relax, Jack. It's a war on terror. We're not out to kill civilians. Extremists, lawless gangs, madmen. 
Of course! That would have to include you! Wouldn't want any eyewitness reports complicating the message!
You're just another maggot crawling in the pile! <laughs> Alright. The truth, then. You're right about one thing. I do need capital. And votes. Wanna know why? I have a dream! What? That one day, every person in this nation will control their own destiny. A land of the truly free, dammit! A nation of action, not words, ruled by strength, not committee! Where the law changes to suit the individual, not the other way around! Where power and justice are back where they belong! In the hands of the people! Where every man is free to think, to act, for himself! Fuck all these lunatic lawyers and chicken shit bureaucrats! Fuck this 24-7 internet spew of trivia and celebrity bullshit! <laughs> Fuck American pride! Fuck the media! Fuck all of it! America's diseased, rotten to the core. There's no saving it. We need to pull it out by the roots. Wipe the slate clean. Burn it down! And from the ashes, a new America will be born! Evolved, but unchanged! The weak will be purged. And the strongest will thrive. Free to live as they see fit. They'll make America great again! What the hell are you talking about? You still don't get it. I'm using war as a business to get elected! So I can end war as a business. In my new America, people will die and kill for what they believe! Not for money, not for oil! Not for what they're told is right. Every man will be free to fight his own wars! So, what do you think? How the hell did you get elected? <laughs> well, I don't write my own speeches. You should try fighting for what you believe in sometime, Jack. Not for a company or a nation or for anyone else. Maybe I was wrong about you. Am I finally getting through? I'll rid this world of pointless wars, Jack. I was wrong. You're not greedy. Shit insane! Making the mother of all omelets here, Jack. Can't fret over every egg. Not when you're purging the weak, right? What do you know about the weak? You weren't born poor. 
You've never been hungry. You don't know what it's like to fight and steal and kill just to survive. But you did survive! Through sheer force of will, following your own set of rules. With your own two hands, you took back your life! And now, I'll take yours. Save your master. <laughs> well, go ahead then. But make no mistake, Fido. When I'm finished with him, you're next. I was not designed to fear termination. Huh? However, Directive 01 is to ensure all data acquired is preserved and passed along. To expire here would violate that directive. That's a good boy. <sighs> However, Raiden came to my aid. I have learned from him. When Samuel fell, data analysis was inconclusive. But that has changed. I have established new parameters now. Created my own directives. 
you little fuck. die. 